Good evening, everybody, and welcome to Evening Prayer. Apologies for live stream. We think that Sister Eleanor may be having a few problems logging in the camera, so I'm here now. And welcome to all our friends on Facebook. It's good to welcome you to our Evening Prayer of Vespers. And Sister Sue, being the loyal, regular soul that she is, she's there with us in our live stream channel, Franciscan Soulmates for Peace. This evening, we dedicate our prayers for our dear sister, Nancy, who takes her vows on the Feast of St. Clair on August the 11th, and she's now beginning her preparation, her spiritual preparation for her retreat. So I'd like to dedicate our prayers this evening for dear sister Nancy in Mexico and also for each one of you gathered here from dear Mary Krajewski, who's also expressed a desire to join our community from her home in Michigan. And welcome to Albert and to Adam C. McHenry and whoever else is not logged in, but who will join us, you're welcome. So now we begin and we ring our bells to call on the Holy Spirit of God and to invite the Father Mother God to come into our hearts and to bless our humble offering of prayer. And today is the 17th week in the church's year and the office is the Divine Office of Vespers and it's week one of the Psalter. So we begin our evening prayers together. O oh God, come to my aid. O oh Lord, make haste and help me. Glory be to the Father, Mother, God, to the Lord Jesus Christ, our teacher, to the Holy Spirit of God, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. And our hymn this evening is from Sing Your Faith from the Unitarian Hymn Book. And it's hymn number 219. You are the song of my heart is the theme. You are the song of my heart in the morning. You are the dawn of truth in my soul. You are the dew of the roses adorning. You are the woven whole. Yours is the grace to be steadfast in danger. Yours is the peace that none can destroy. Yours is the face of the need-riven stranger. Yours are the wings of joy. Yours are the deep to the deep in me calling. You are the lamp where my feet shall tread. Your way is steep past the peril of falling, you are my daily bread. Yours be the praise of my spirit uplifted. You are the sea to each flowing stream. Yours are the days that are gathered and sifted. You are the deathless stream. And that's by Kendall Gibbons, born in 1955. <clears throat> and it is rather a beautiful hymn to begin our evening prayer of Vespers. <clears throat> and our first antiphon for Vespers is, The Lord will send his mighty scepter from Zion, and he will rule forever. Alleluia. And Psalm 109 is about the Messiah who is king and priest. The Lord's revelation to my master sit on my right your foes i will put beneath your feet the lord will yield from sion your scepter of power rule in the midst of all your foes a prince from the day of your birth on the holy mountains from the womb before the dawn i begot you the lord has sworn an oath he will not change you are a priest forever, a priest forever like Melchizedek of old. And the master standing at your right hand will shatter kings in the day of his wrath. He shall drink from the stream by the wayside, and therefore he shall 
lift up his head. And now together let us pray the Gloria. Glory be to the Father, Mother God, to the Lord Jesus Christ, our teacher, to the Holy Spirit of God, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Lord will send his mighty scepter from Sion, and he will rule forever. Alleluia. The second antiphon, the earth trembled before the Lord. Alleluia. And our next psalm is Psalm 113a, and it's about Israel is freed from Egypt. When Israel came forth from Egypt, Jacob's sons from an alien people, Judah became the Lord's temple, and Israel became his kingdom. The sea fled at the sight, the Jordan turned back on its course, the mountains leapt like rams, <clears throat> and the hills like yearling sheep. Why was it sea that you fled, that you turned back Jordan on your course, mountains that you leapt like rams, and hills like yearling sheep? Tremble, O earth, before the Lord in the presence of the God of Jacob, who turns the rock into a pool and flint into a spring of water. And now together, let us pray the Gloria. <clears throat> Glory be to the Father, Mother God, to the Lord Jesus Christ, our teacher, to the Holy Spirit of God, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. <clears throat> the earth trembled before the Lord. Alleluia. And the next antiphon, the third antiphon, the Lord is King, our God, the Almighty. Alleluia. <clears throat> and excuse me, and now we have a canticle reading from the Book of Revelation in the New Testament Christian Bible. Alleluia, salvation and glory and power belong to our God. His judgments are true and just. Alleluia. Alleluia, praise our God, all you his servants. You who fear him, small and great, alleluia. <clears throat> Excuse me. Alleluia, the Lord our God, the Almighty reigns. Let us rejoice and exult and give him the glory, alleluia. Alleluia, the marriage of the Lamb has come and his bride has made herself ready, alleluia. We now pray the Gloria. Glory be to the Father, Mother, God, to the Lord Jesus Christ, our teacher, to the Holy Spirit of God, as it was in the beginning, is now, <clears throat> and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Lord, the Lord is King, our God, the Almighty. Alleluia. And now we come to a short scripture reading, and it's from the New Testament Christian Bible, from St. Paul to 2 Corinthians chapter 1, verses 3 to 4. Let us give thanks to the God who is our Father Mother of our Lord Jesus Christ, the merciful Father, the God from whom all help comes. Our Father Mother God helps us in all our troubles so that we are able to help those who have all kinds of troubles using the same help that we ourselves have received from our Father, Mother God. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And the short responsory, blessed are you in the vault of heaven. Blessed are you in the vault of heaven. You are exalted and glorified forever. So you are exalted and glorified above all else forever. Blessed are you in the vault of heaven. Glory be to the Father, Mother God, to the Lord Jesus Christ, our teacher, to the Holy Spirit of God. <clears throat> Blessed are you in the vault of heaven. And now we have a special antiphon for this week 17 of the church's year and it is ask and you will receive 
Seek and you will find. Knock and the door will be opened to you. Alleluia. And now I'd like to invite you to join me for the beautiful canticle of Mary, known as the Magnificat, and it's Mary's response to the Archangel Gabriel, who came to tell this young teenage girl, still in her teens, that she would become the mother of God, that she would bear within her womb the Messiah. So let us personalize the beautiful prayers from Mary's heart and let us use them as our own. My soul magnifies the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God, who is my Saviour. He looks on his servant in her lowliness, henceforth all ages will call me blessed. Excuse me. <clears throat> he looks down. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. <clears throat> I'd best start again. Excuse me about that. I guess it's the antibiotics which I'm on that are drying up my throat quite rapidly. <clears throat> we start again. My soul magnifies the Lord and my spirit rejoices in God who is my saviour. He looks on his servant in her lowliness. Henceforth all ages will call me blessed. The Almighty works marvels for me, and holy is his name. His mercy is from age to age on those who fear him. He puts forth his arm in strength, and he scatters the proud-hearted. He casts the mighty from their thrones, and he exalts the lowly. He fills the starving with good things, and he sends the rich away empty-handed. He protects Israel, his servant, that's you and me, remembering his mercy the mercy promised to our fathers Abraham and his sons forever. Let us together pray the Gloria. Glory be to the Father, Mother, God, to the Lord Jesus Christ, our teacher, to the Holy Spirit of God, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Ask, and you will receive. Seek, and you will find. Knock, and the door will be opened unto you. Alleluia. These are the words from Jesus. And how appropriate that they are, just as we're about to begin our evening intercession. So keep those words at the back of your mind when we come to personalize our requests in the presence of Christ. So now we come to our intercessions. Christ is the head of his body, the church, and we are the members of that body. Gathered this evening to pray in his name, we say, your kingdom come, your kingdom come. May your church be a light to the nations, the sign and source of your power to unite all men and women of all faiths and none. May she lead mankind to the mystery of your love. Response, your kingdom come. Guide our Holy Father, Pope Francis, His Holiness the Dalai Lama and Thich Nahan, Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth, our reigning monarch and head of the Church of England, and all religious leaders of all faiths, together with all the bishops of your church. Grant them the gifts of unity, of love, and of peace. Response, your kingdom come. Lord, give peace to our troubled world and give to your children security of mind and freedom from anxiety. Response, your kingdom come. Help us to bring your compassion to the poor, the sick, the lonely, the unloved. Lead us to find you in them in the coming week response, Lord, your kingdom come. Awaken the dead to a glorious resurrection. May we be united with them at the end of time. And just for a moment, let us bring to mind the members of our own family, our loved ones who've crossed over and who are in glory with the Lord. Let us invite them to come and pray for us 
to put in a good word for us as many of us struggle in our faith journey. Let's do that now. Response, your kingdom come. And now we take the words of Jesus to our heart, but just let me put on the bigger light. It's starting to go dark now in, in Storth. Let us take the words of Jesus, ask and you will receive, seek and you will find, knock and the door will be opened. What is Jesus saying to you and me now? Well, he's inviting us to come to him with our troubles <clears throat> and with our concerns. And we, we know intuitively that the moment we invite the Christ into our heart and ask from a loving heart, he will not disappoint us. So we must use the gift of free will that he's given to us. And let us name, let us bless, and now release to God those requests. And the key is to leave it with God and just keep saying, thank you God for hearing my prayer at this hour and leave it with God. And then go to your next request but never ask for the same thing over and over and over. Because that to me shows that you lack trust in a father, mother, God, who is magnificent, omnipresent and abundant, abundant. They have abundant blessings to give you if you will just allow them share their gifts with your heart. But you have to be in the right place at the right time, meaning you have to make time to nurture that relationship with God. There's so many fair weather Christians. I can only speak of the Catholic Christian tradition, but there's so many fair weather. They're up and down like yo-yos. God asks us to be consistent and not to allow anything ravage his love in us. He wants us to trust him and to bless the disappointments, not to run away from them or to start having a, well, a hurricane or a tsunami in our life. He wants us to bless every situation and give it to him in loving trust. So let us do that now because Christ is here. He is present. <coughs> we've brought our requests to God let us trust God is a loving God he's not a vengeful God God does not punish his children the way many people say he does God gives you and I free will to choose to live a good life a life of truth a life where your heart is free of unforgiveness where your heart is open and where you're not just giving lip service. There are many who are given free will and they choose not to listen to God or they listen when it suits them and then they blame God when things go wrong. But tonight we must remember all of God's children of all faiths, all colors, all creeds, all ethnicity and those who have a different lifestyle choice to us. They are our equal. God has no friends. God has no one that he singles out and says, ah, you're my best friend. No, we are all God's children and we are all God's friends. And we must never be afraid to come to God and ask. But we pray tonight for the children of Yemen, where many are dying of cholera because of dirty water. 
We pray for our brothers and sisters in Syria, where two factions of Islam are killing one another in the name of Allah. We pray for the whole Middle East that's in turmoil, and we pray for our Christian brothers and sisters, especially in Northern Egypt, in the Coptic Christian Church, where many are under threat and many have had their lives taken by fundamentalists. We pray for peace in this beautiful world, the Cathedral of God. And we pray for those who try to do their best, but who are downtrodden and weary. We pray for them. We pray for the homeless, the unemployed. We pray with this racial tension, victimization in the workplace. But we pray for prisoners, for men and women, and especially those on death row. We pray for our beloved animal kingdom, God's amazing gifts to all of us. And that's one of the joys of being a Franciscan. Like Francis, our holy founder, he had a great love of animals and the animals knew he loved them and they felt safe with him. Like Gooby the wolf, we surround ourselves with so many beautiful pets and I know in our community all our members have beautiful pets and I know Sister Eleanor and Elizabeth in Philadelphia they rescue, no, the animals find them and it's the same with Nancy in Mexico the strays find her and I guess that's a compliment because they feel safe and loved but there are many who are cruel to the animal kingdom and they forget the animal kingdom has as much right to be here as you or I. God made them out of love. And now we pray for all our special intentions. We pray especially for those who are hurting right now, for those who feel that prayer is beyond them. They've reached a place of no go. Many of our young people today, I know from what people share with me, are becoming more suicidal and many are taking their own life. They feel totally disillusioned. They feel totally out of it. They can't connect. And I'm sure I can understand that because the energies are so negative. But you and I can improve the energies by releasing love from our hearts out into the world. So who have we got on Facebook? Carl Pierpoint, good evening, dear brother. Marvain, Adeline, Joe Rizzo, Victoria, or known as Vicky, welcome. Pray that my depression will be lifted. Will I identify with you, Vicky? I live with depression every day. Bless it and give it to God and let it become a prayer. You'll be amazed how it will lift. God will give you the strength and we'll pray for you, Vicky. Rhonda Arthurs, welcome Rhonda. For Jim Sojodron, Caroline, ah, oh, dear Caroline from the Isle of Wight, welcome. We will pray for you, dear Caroline, because you're very special to the Lord, we know that. For Barbara Joy, Barbara Joy, Liz Bourne, uh, oh, there's so many unusual names, forgive me. Rota Virta Marjo, that's not Irish, is it? No. George Martinez and all who who've not logged in you're welcome and now coming to our live stream channel our dear sister Eleanor bless her she's here from Philadelphia and our dear sister Sue and there's a few not logged in and who are they don't know but whoever watches this we pray for you we pray for dear brother Brian who's doing he's having a better day today he's our Franciscan trucker in America who's another modern day Francis where he gives to the homeless from state to state. We pray for dear sister Jackie and her poorly mom in California, for sister Pam in California. We also remember all our community past and present and not forgetting dear sister Miriam in New Zealand. So let us bring all our requests, all our intentions to this amazing God who loves us and who cries out for us to come home to God's love and to stop playing games, to forgive ourselves for the wrongs we've done and to forgive those who may have wronged us. 
Let us do that now. And we prayed the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father, Mother God, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give to each one of us here today our daily bread. Forgive us. Forgive us the times when we've even doubted you, when we've run away from you, when we fail to listen to you, for the times we've procrastinated, for the times we failed in charity, in thought, word or deed, to ourself and to others. Lead us not astray, O Lord, but protect us from those negative forces of evil, despair, depression and hopelessness. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. <clears throat> and our closing prayer for this 17th week of the Church's year. Let us see, where are we? Uh -uh. Lord God, protector of those who hope in you, without whom nothing is strong, nothing holy, Support us always with your love. Guide us so to use the good things of this world, that even now we may hold fast to what endures forever. We make our prayer through our Lord Jesus, the Cosmic Christ, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. And that brings us to the end of the Divine Office of Vespers. And now for a Celtic blessing from Iona. The blessing of heaven, the blessing of earth, the blessing of sea and sky on those we love this night and on every human family. The gift of heaven, the gift of earth, the gift of sea and sky, the gifts of brother sun and sister moon and the gifts of the animal kingdom be in your heart now and forevermore. Amen. And as I come to blow out this flame, I thank our Good Shepherd, the physician of our soul, the Lord Christ, for touching each and every one of us here, for easing our burdens, and for putting hope back into our heart. Amen. So go in peace to love and to serve a God of love. Namaste, shalom, inshallah, pax et bonum. Om Shanti, Solo di Caritas, Salam Alaikum, and may the peace of your God, Goddess, our God, reawaken in your heart that you are not a nobody, that you are a somebody, a human being that God created out of love, and never ever feel alone in this faith journey, because you can never be alone when you've opened your heart to God's love. And now I want to dedicate this to all of you here and assuring you of my prayer. And if I can help, just email me and ask. And it's Surrender by Carol Isis, an amazing lady. And that's for you. From the depths of my soul, I can feel you now, moving freely within.
afternoon or good evening wherever you are in the world and just to say God is here God is in your heart never ever doubt or despair no matter how things get bad for you always ask for his help so until we meet again around this table of love we're back again in the morning at nine o'clock London time but for now have a wonderful evening enjoy being with family and friends Good night and God bless you all. Take care.